Among the biggest ever wins away from home for one, among the biggest ever defeats at home for the other. You'd struggle to think which of these sides came into this contest on the back of a whitewash and losing key personnel. But in keeping with the trends of recent times, India turned the tables and produced perfection in Perth to script a stunning, stirring victory and go 1-0 up in the Bora Gavaskar Trophy. On ESPN Cricket for Match Day, we have the company of Sanjay Manjrekar. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. I know the word great gets thrown around a lot, but this has to rank among India's finest wins. Yeah, I think and arguably the greatest win. Uh, I'm not talking about series win because there have been some unbelievable wins. Even the Eden Gardens win against Australia after being asked to follow on is a great win. But this is uh, great purely because this shows Indian cricket in different light. Considering that you had five you know, huge names missing. Ashwin Jadeja dropped, uh, Rohit Sharma, Shubman Gill unfit, Mohamed Shami unfit. And despite that, to beat Australia on their home turf, and by this margin, after getting 150 in the first uh, inning, batting first and all that, arguably one of, <laughs> when you say one off, it becomes very easy to <laughs> push, you know, 100 one off, but incredible. But maybe the thing that elevates this victory is that while you have these famous wins of the past, which are victories of toil, of turning things around, to boss Australia so much in Australia, to overwhelm them eventually, that's what makes this stronger. Yes, and I, I said, uh, you know, before the series began, we had a chat and we said uh, that if India competes against Australia well with the kind of, uh, you know, form they showed in that home series against New Zealand, setbacks with injuries, if they compete well against Australia who are at full strength, uh, that would show Indian cricket in different light, as in to show the spirit of Indian cricket, the depth of Indian cricket. But to do what they did, you know, winning is just something else. And having said all that, I'm just thinking, we had five big names missing. If Jaspreet Bumra was one of the five, could we have achieved that? That's also a question. Yeah, and that is a great point to start us off because while this is an all-round performance, this can in some ways be known as Bumra's test. The test where he stood in as captain, leading a side under as much strife, and then not just handling that responsibility, but continuing to deliver his performance. Yeah, it's, he's become like a genie, you know, out of the bottle who fulfills your wishes. I mean, it's just unbelievable what he's doing. I mean, after getting 150, what chance did India have? You know, because this is Australia playing at home and full strength, despite few battles being out of form. To get them all out for 104, when the pitch had improved slightly, that was Bumrah's doing. And then, you know, the pitch played a little better. That's where you could give credit to people like Yashasi Jaiswal, KL Rahul. I mean, 160 is a huge 100. And then coming back and ensuring that there were no miraculous kind of recoveries, getting Travis Head out and all that. So, that 104 performance with the ball and even in the, uh, you know, last innings. Yes, it's, it's actually interesting. It could be called the Bumrah Test Match, although it's not the kind of Test Match that both of them had many years back. But yeah, quite the same impact though. But when we speak of this genie, genius, whatever we call him, words don't do justice. The manner in which he is maintaining this ceiling while having this consistency, is that what's with every game possibly putting him higher up in the echelons of test grades? And in all three formats. Mm. He recently won India the T20 World Cup final as well. So it's just uh, unreal almost what he's doing with the ball. Uh, it's a bit like, you know, A.B. de Villiers when he used to play those un unbelievable innings. You would think that he's not human. Is there a, you know, robot there batting, Superman and all that. And with the ball, you get that same kind of feeling. What he's achieving, you know, when he realized that uh, the pitch is responding better to a softer ball. The uneven bounce has disappeared. He changed the line to Mitchell Marsh. And the others follow suit. So, he's not only you know, directing his own performance in the right direction and by just a sheer uh, inspiration, getting the others to follow as well. Yeah, and among those to follow, there was Mohammad Siraj who started uh, the day uh, on a strong note for India. The mountain was too tall, 500 and you're 12 for 3. But with Siraj getting Khwaja and Smith out as early, it was then going to be a procession. Yes, and Usman Khwaja because he's a guy who's not had any problems of late. Uh, he's been in good form and they have seen how good he is. Steve Smith, Manas Labushain, slightly more vulnerable. But yes, Mohamed Siraj got dropped uh, in the home series, may have been rested, but Akash, they played before him. 
and he in a very candid interview said you know because in the last five or six matches he was not getting wickets he was getting very desperate and nervous but he showed his uh, you know class by being there alongside bumrah helping him achieve unbelievable things you mentioned those the personnel india were missing let's go back to those decisions because to go in to a series opener with two debutants a raw number 3 to leave ashwin and jadeja on the bench the difference between brave and silly in popular discourse often is reliant on the end outcome but how much credit will you give to the think tank yeah it's a little unfair and it's unprofessional on my part on result to change views you know because that is an easy thing to do i had a slightly different playing 11 but what you can see what they did right was because they are closer to their player they knew which is the guy who may be able to deliver on this pitch i was thinking akash deep had gave uh, given no chance to harshit rana but they played him because they saw something there uh, particular at number 3 i you know maybe not a great call i would have gone with incumbency and had you know the same middle order batters but they saw something there and padikal although he didn't get a big score has done enough to you know sort of, uh, give us hope that he could be used down the uh, line uh, nitish kumar reddy uh, kl rahul at the top winning the toss batting first these are all the uh, controllable tactics uh, that they pulled out and that is a bit of an insight into the team management of uh, rohit sharma bumrah and uh, gautam gambhir but a lot of those uh, decisions made cricketing sense washington sundar was the big one based purely on performance and current reality to leave out big names like ashwin and jadeja it doesn't happen in indian cricket maybe this is also now a new change that we'll start seeing Mm. Let's focus on Australia now who have suffered what becomes their second heaviest defeat at home in terms of runs since 1980. It's almost like every single aspect of this test went wrong for them which seems so unlikely for Australia especially in Australia. They bowled well 150 you know and Josh Hazelwood showed his class as well and we thought you know on this kind of a pitch and they had Nathan Lyon as well which India didn't have an experienced uh, spinner. So that went all right for them. the batting we talked about and while we said india is weak we said australia have a weakness of their own uh, it's a bit similar to how india was in new zealand where they had two or three guys who were out of form or vulnerable um, in the f- top four well australia had a debutant opener who has never opened he's a middle order batter then you had a labushin clearly out of sorts at number 3 and steve smith again a bit like labushin so that is where the vulnerability l- was and they just sort of fell apart in mm. australia and what it means is that the story or the narrative around the series has turned on its head entirely because you've had australia with almost no one contributing you've had india with so many people contributing yeah. what does this result and just the nature of everything that's transpired at perth do to the course of this series look at the health of the playing 11 uh you know kl rahul before the perth test match i mean we were all thinking oh dear again kl rahul and opening i don't know what's going to happen there we were not sure about yashasvi jaiswal because south africa we hadn't played too well so there was a question mark there as well number 3 devdat padikkar number 4 virat kohli you know his form there was only rishabh pant that we were pretty optimistic about Uh, but now you're looking at nitish kumar reddy as number 7 8 not bad uh, you know washi might get another game couple of wickets for him kl rahul is a confident young batter at the top of the order yashashwi jaiswal is flying high virat kohli is relaxed after that 100 so suddenly yeah. the health of the indian playing 11 has completely changed with rohit sharma shubman gill coming in is got going to get even better it's not just a win that was shaped by bumrah there are a lot of important uh, you know little holes that have been filled what will you remember the most from this win bumrah i mean where you think uh, this is just incredible and very quickly is rising right to the top of all time indian greats when it comes to fast bowling and in this test match especially when you had people like mitch stark josh hazelwood pat cummins Bumrah has once again shown that he's in a different league even in comparison to these kind of top class bowlers. So Perth goes India's way and almost one way traffic for most of the test they take a 1-0 advantage to Adelaide for the pink ball test.